Hello and welcome to this fourth episode of my knitting podcast. My name is Irma and you can find me uh, on YouTube, Ravelry and Instagram under the name Wolwerkjes. As I said, knitting podcast, so I will talk a little bit about my knitting over here and just let's get started. Normally I start with a uh, finish objects and when I'm wearing knitwear I want to tell you which knitwear I am wearing and today those things are both the same because I finished this wrapper they call it and it's called the Malfoy Manor wrapper or Lady of the House wrapper by Vicky Square and it's published in two magazines one of them is called Knitting Wizardry and um, it's uh, a really nice pattern. The other magazine is uh, something called Harry Potter Knits. I don't own a magazine, I own the Knitting Wizardry one. And this is what it is become. And I will show you uh, the, I, I try to show <laughs> the lace pattern. Uh, it's a full lace um, wrapper, cardigan, yeah, it's a kind of sleeves when you, when your clothes you're wearing don't have sleeves, something like that. Um, I worked on this for quite a long time. Uh, one of the reasons it took me so long was that I put it away at some point. And I wasn't able to find out where I was in the lace because lace knitting isn't my strongest point. I haven't done it that much. So I had to start over and more than once. So that's why it took me some time. It's not really big, only you knit it uh, sideways. So you have to knit uh, at one point all the sleeve, the back and the other sleeve. Um, in one on one needle so then you have like 300 stitches or something on the needles and <laughs> then it's quite hard to get through because it takes so long so long time to finish one needle um, in the pattern they use like a um, clasp or a uh, not a button but like um, you can also use them to pin scarves. Maybe it's called a pin, I don't know. Uh, but they use something to close it uh, over here. I didn't have it in the house and I didn't want to put on a button. So I just sewed a little bit of it together. And when I find the right um, closing mechanism, I can always um, cut the bit I sewed open and used that way but I like how it's looking now uh, it's a rolling uh, color so I kept it open and I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit of um, one by one rib over here so I didn't sew down the whole thing I just went with the line of the cardigan and I I really like the effect. Um, it's a little bit, it has a little bit of a halo. I don't know if you can see it, but that's because it's a single ply uh, yarn, uh, fine merino, so really soft. That's also a reason it feels a little bit, and um, silk and that's the shine. I don't know if you can see that on the camera but there's a shine over it and that's because there is silk in the um, in the yarn and I really like it. It's uh, warmer than I thought it would be because it's quite open but it still gives you enough warmth to be cozy so that's really nice. And I have another finished object. I'm so happy with this finished object. Uh, last episode I talked about um, my October socks, that I started them and that I um, hope 
I would finish them in time because I did one pair of socks every month until now and it would be a shame to stop um, so near to the end of the year. So I started the sock and I was not happy with the yarn. I was so struggling with the yarn. Um, it was splitty, it was a single ply. I don't like single ply yarn for socks. Even though it was a sock yarn, I bought it as a sock yarn. I really, really didn't like working with it. I hated the yarn, <laughs> I really hated it. And I was like, oh, I'll go through with it because otherwise I have to start over again. But I think I knitted like this much, this is a little bit more than five centimeters maybe. And I looked at my husband and I said, I'm not gonna do this. He said, no, you shouldn't. You get really angry when you're working on it. So I took out my needles and threw the whole thing away, including the yarn. I didn't want to make anything else with it. I just, I was done with it. So then I was thinking, okay, when I want to start another pair of socks now, and I think it was last week, last week on a Thursday or something. And I was like, okay, when I have like less than a week left to knit a whole pair of socks, I really want to like the yarn I'm working with. And I, w I want to like the feel of it. I was already um, very happy with the pattern I chose. So I kept, um, I stayed with that pattern. That's the business casual pattern by, I don't know, out of, uh, I don't know by heart, I will put it on the screen. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I have to say I didn't use the whole pattern. I just used it to get the right amount of uh, stitches on the needles and uh, get the pattern started. And once I was in the pattern, uh, it's quite easy to understand. So I put the pattern away and just did my own thing. And I chose my own hand dyed yarn because I really like the feel of my glance base. It's a base with uh, silk and rami which, uh, and merino and it makes it really, uh, the silk and the rami makes it really strong so you can use it for socks. But I really really like the feel of this yarn when I'm working with it so that makes me happy and I did finish both socks in time. And this is the pattern, the underside of the foot I kept plain because it's not nice to walk on a texture and this is how it's looked and I really have to, I really finish them. I also put both heels in, I like afterthought heels and I put both heels in the socks and I'm so happy I finished them on time because it would be a shame not to be able to have one pair of socks every month because it's just nice to say I needed one pair of socks each month this year <laughs> just for myself um, yeah so socks done this colorway is uh, called summer dress because this summer I had a dress with those colors in it and I really really loved this uh, dress so I thought I'll I'll call this colorway after the dress and I really like it. So, to finish the objects. Because I really want to finish the socks and I wouldn't allow myself to start a new big project for myself until this one was done. Those are the only two big projects I worked on. I did a little bit on my uh, Marit mittens. So we're going to works in progress at this point and I just finished one mitten without the um, thumb. So I still have to put in the thumb. It's a hole for now. And this is how they are looking. I used uh, some leftover uh, Navia Duo held double for the 
dark background color and I used my own hand dyed yarn I showed you last week with the oranges and the greens and the blue speckles as the background color. I don't think it's really good to see with this lighting but you can see that the background is changing color and the inside is looking like this. Um, there are a few mistakes I think I made in the color work just one or two and that's completely my own fault because I was knitting in a waiting room and I didn't want to take out my phone so I just guessed what I had to do <laughs> and the shaping was right only I did a little bit wrong with the color choices but I can duplicate those stitches with the right right color yarn so I don't mind and I don't think anyone who doesn't know can see where I made the mistake so I think I'm I'm good so that's one done one to go I don't think I have other knitting done the last two weeks I did uh, knit a little bit on my knitting machine not going to show too much but last time I had the back piece done and I also have a front now and you can see directly when I hold it like this that I made a mistake this side should have have the stripe and I could have gone back but the line of the color I make using short rows and going back short rows on a knitting machine is not the most easy thing to do <laughs> so I just left it and I will call it a design feature and maybe I will do something with the um, sleeves so it won't be too too strange but I think when I hold it like this it's really noticeable because you can see the back but when you're wearing it you don't see that um, continuous line in front so maybe it will be less noticeable it won't be a pullover I will wear on uh, very fancy occasions or something just to keep myself warm and because it's my first piece I didn't think it would be um, all perfect and stuff so I'm really happy with the result I still have to close the side seams and I still have to knit the uh, sleeves I haven't come around to that I do like the knitting machine and I like to learn more about it the only thing <laughs> it's, it's a little bit crazy but because the knitting goes uh, quite fast in my head it's like I'm spending more time on the seams than I am on the knitting. <laughs> and with hand knitting, I don't really mind the seaming because it's the finishing of the garment and it's the most of the times it's the last step you take and you want to make it beautiful so you spend some time in it and you already have spent so much time on knitting the piece that those few hours of seaming doesn't really matter but with the knitting machine the knitting goes relatively quick <laughs> and then you have to do a lot of seaming so that's in my head that it's, it's a little bit strange but I I don't really mind it but it kind of stops me using it too much because I like nothing more than I, than I like seaming but that's a little bit of blah for <laughs> people who are interested in my <laughs> mental <laughs> issues with machine knitting so that's that uh, the only thing i have to talk about now is my future knitting and because i finished this one i can start a new big project for myself of course i have my sheep cardigan as a big project but i don't think a scarf counts 
and it was a treat for myself that to cast that one on. I haven't worked on it the last two weeks and I really really want to start working on it again so I think next time I'll have more to show about that project but for now I think this afternoon or at least this weekend I will start this beauty the Al Cardigan or Ginny Cardigan and it's a pattern by Mari Shiba I don't know how you pronounce that it will be on screen and oh I love this cardigan I will show you the front as well not really that special at the front I don't know if I'll do the pockets I will see when I come to that point but yeah I really really want to start and I have one skein of yarn already here this is the color I'm going to use it's wool from Wolcentrum, which is a Swedish brand from um, Öland. And I really love this color. And I hope it will not up beautifully. First I have to make a swatch. I hate swatching. <laughs> I don't think it's a good way to go just to take the needle from the pattern. I think with scarves you can get scarves or shawls you can get away with it because it doesn't really matter if it's bigger or smaller but when it's something you want to wear you want to know you get the size you need so I will make a swatch but I not gonna keep it that way I will just use the yarn to knit the, the cardigan with. I'm always afraid I have I don't have enough yarn and that's not fun to think you ha don't have enough yarn. I think I bought five skeins of this and I had help from the lady from from Trollable who helped me pick this color as well and we were calculating and we came like maybe you can do four but when i hear maybe i think okay i'll take five i'll use the other game for something else so i think this will be fun to work on i think this afternoon so i'm not sure what i will need after this but i saw uh, Lerge from uh, Denmark, she has the Fiber Tales podcast. I saw her make those lovely stars out of scrap yarn for um, decoration during winter time. And I saw those and I was like, I think I will knit a few of those. So that's maybe something I will start. And I really loved her new cardigan design as well. But as my rule, just one garment for myself at a time, it will take some time for me to start that one, I think. Depends a little bit on how fast the knitting of this cardigan goes. I think faster than this one went because this is all lace. And the new cardigan I'm going to make only has lace, a little bit lace on the back and the rest is stockinette, I think. So, and I think it's, it isn't knitting around. I can maybe change the pattern so I can knit it in the round and make a stick but I think I will just I don't really mind purling and I want to get my purling faster so I think I will just knit back and forth and but it's always faster than also have to think about yarn overs and knit togethers and those things so uh, I think it goes faster so we'll see and this is a really rambly episode. I'm really talking a lot and not everything is knitting related or making sense or whatever. But that's how it is this week. Um, I don't think I have anything to tell you. Um, have a nice week and I will see you within two weeks again. Bye!